I walk down the garden paths, and all the daffodils are blowing, and the bright blue squills. I walk down the patterned garden paths in my stiff brocaded gown. With my powdered hair and jeweled fan, I too am a rare pattern, as I wander down the garden paths. My dress is richly figured, and the train makes a pink and silver stain on the gravel and the thrift of the borders. Just a plate of current fashion tripping by in high-heeled ribbon shoes, not a softness anywhere about me, only whalebone and brocade, and I sink on a seat in the shade of a lime tree, for my passion wars against the stiff brocade. The daffodils and squills flutter in the breeze as they please, and I weep, for the lime tree is in blossom, and one small flower has dropped upon my bosom and the splashing of the water drops in the marble fountain comes down the garden paths the dripping never stops underneath my stiffened gown is the softness of a woman bathing in a marble basin a basin in the midst of hedges grown so thick she cannot see her lover hiding but she guesses he is near and the sliding of the water seems like the stroking of a dear hand upon her what is summer in a fine brocaded gown I should like to see it lying in a heap upon the ground, all the pink and silver crumpled up on the ground. I would be the pink and silver as I ran along the path, and he would stumble after, bewildered by my laughter. I should see the sun flashing from his sword hilt and the buckles on his shoes. I would choose to lead him in a maze along the patterned paths, a bright and laughing maze for my heavy-booted lover till he caught me in the shade, and the buttons of his waistcoat bruised my body as he clasped me, aching, melting, unafraid. With the shadows of the leaves and the sun drops and the plopping of the water drops all about us in the open afternoon, I am very like to swoon with the weight of this brocade or the sun sifts through the shade. Underneath the fallen blossom in my bosom is a letter I have hid. It was brought to me this morning by a writer from the Duke. Madam, we regret to inform you that Lord Hartwell died in action Thursday tonight. As I read it in the white morning sunlight, the letter squirmed like snakes. Any answer, madam, said my footman. No, I told him. See that the messenger takes some refreshment. No, no answer. And I walked into the garden, up and down the pattern paths in my stiff, correct brocade. The blue and yellow flowers stood up proudly in the sun, each one. I stood upright, too, held rigid to the pattern by the stiffness of my gown. Up and down I walked, up and down. In a month he would have been my husband. In a month, here, underneath this lime, we would have broke the pattern. He for me and I for him. He is colonel, I as lady, on this shady seat. He had a whim that sunlight carried blessing, and I answered, It shall be as you have said. Now he is dead. In summer and in winter I shall walk up and down the patterned garden paths in my stiff brocaded gown. The squills and daffodils will give place to pillared roses and to asters and to snow. I shall go up and down in my gown, gorgeously arrayed, boned, and stayed, and the softness of my body will be guarded from embrace by each button, hook, and lace for the man who should loose me is dead, fighting with the Duke in Flanders in a pattern called a war. Christ, what are patterns for? <laughs>